Welcome back to The Charismatic Voice. We recently got a sneak preview of The Scorpion's new album, Rock Believer. I'm going to share with you now my reaction to the title song. The full album won't be coming out until February 25th of 2022. However, they just released the title song, Rock Believer. So we can take a listen to that together now. Let's get to it. Ah, okay, right away. The energy is amazing, right? I feel like it's got so much catchiness immediately. And I love the way that they start out with I'm a rock believer. And then there's a slide off as well. And it's like, it's tossed off. Let's go back to the beginning. I'm a rock believer. And there's this really cool reverse fade in from that as well. That's such a cool way to immediately grab your attention and draw you in. <laughs> I want to, I'm going to talk about this first moment a little bit more. This is a really good first moment. So there's a thing called an offset. And that's essentially when you get off of a note. Most of the time you want that sound to be fairly negligible as if there's no sound there at all. But sometimes you can add a little extra sass, which is what he does here. Instead of saying, I'm a rock believer, and there's no sound after lever, he goes, lever, ah, essentially, lever, ah. And there's a little bit of extra air that happens right in there. I'm a rock believer. <laughs> Not sure if you heard that little bit of extra air there at the end, uh, but it's really funny. It's a little H right after the slide. <laughs> the parallel harmonies there are so, um, they're unexpected. Usually when you have a bunch of parallel notes running like that, um, it's almost like breaking some of the rules of classical music. And I think that it's really effective here at giving it a little bit more energy and pizzazz. <laughs> you start to crawl until you walk. You make a scream and learn to talk. You discover life on every day from the first day you were born you walk the lifeline of your own and if you always keep the faith no one can take your dreams away in the ruins of their soul oh i just got shivers i love the storytelling here um Oh, such a beautiful, a, a beautiful setting of this idea of, of crawling, learning to walk and saying, if you keep faith, nobody can take your dreams away. Oh, that is, that is some really, really good lyrical writing there. And in addition to that, Klaus's voice is just so sweet here. I like the way that they've stripped away a lot of the instruments. They've let it be um, just very soft and tender, which really suits that idea from childhood as well. And, and then you get into this uh, moment where he says, no one can take your dreams away. And I think it's totally acapella there. Let's go back and listen to that one more time. That's, that's really good. To talk. Go back a little further. You discover. You start to crawl until you walk. You make a scream and learn to talk. You discover life on every day. From the first day you were born, you walk the lifeline of your own. And if you always keep the faith, 
No one can take your dreams away. Yeah. The moment right before he sings, no one can take your dreams away. I love that drop out there. And then the way that they're hitting it. Um, each uh, syllable that he sings, he's got an extra hit. Um, I think both from guitars and drums there underneath it to emphasize it. That is such a great line and a, such a, a beautiful verse building up to it. Plus, I, his voice just is so relatable. There's um, something so human in the sound, right? I think that this is partly the amazing balance of uh, different placements in his tone. It feels uniquely like his sound. And I, I really appreciate that he's maintained this extremely unique sound uh, for all of his career. I mean, these guys have been together for over 50 years at this point, or I think it's 50 years in 2022 that since they released their debut album. That's a really long time. And Klaus still sounds like Klaus and he still has this ability to just touch your heart. It's really, really sweet. Okay, one more time from there. You make a scream and learn to talk. You discover life on every day. From the first day you were born, you walk the lifeline if you always keep the faith No one can take your dreams away In the ruins of their souls You saw the beauty of it all Simply a generation change Our fathers came with steel But we came back to make you feel Our love in every song we play This is a really good chorus. <laughs> this is a really good chorus. The harmonies in it are, are tight. They're really, really good. But the uh, along with the energy and the fuller sound from the whole band, you have just really clear lyrics and vocals at the same time. Really great production. I love the message in it. And I appreciate so much the way that Klaus's voice is cutting through so we can clearly hear everything he's saying back over time oh it's a sticky chorus too you saw the beauty of it all simply a generation change our fathers came with steel but we came back to make you feel our love in every song we play i love it they're making you feel love in every song that they play. I feel like that is um, very, very much uh, one of the goals of the Scorpions. It is, uh, they seem to have a message of love and hope in so many of their songs. That's beautiful. Our fathers came with steel, but we came back to make you feel our love in every song we play. One more thing about the production of these vocals, one of the reasons why I am really loving the production on them. Dang. Um, by the way, they recorded this all in Hanover, um, and I know that they worked with a really good team on it. So um, the, the harmonizing vocals are panned off to the right and the left. It sounds like we've maybe got a few different doubles going. So when we get into that chorus, you get a feeling of this stereo image. Um, Klaus is normally right directly in front of me. Um, and then uh, he has some nice 
some nice reverb on him too that gives him a little more feeling of, of the room and the space. But when you get those harmonies in there, it feels like they surround you a lot more. And I love that feeling. I love it. It really makes me feel like I'm in the room with them. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Where so many moments that we share of all the love we give and take. Love came to me so many ways, no matter what some haters say. No one can take our dreams away. Scream for me, screamer. I'm a rock believer like you. Just like you. Come on, scream for me, screamer. I'm a rock believer like you. Just like you. <laughs> that was cool. That was really cool. Um, uh, I want to talk a little bit about vowel placement and favoritism. <laughs> so every singer that's been singing for a long time ends up having certain vowels that they like better and certain ones where they just feel the buzz more, where they feel as if their best voice is coming out of a certain vowel. Uh, and I hear in Klaus's voice, it sounds like he just loves E vowels. Uh, it, there's a, a way, it sounds like the way that the E vowel buzzes in the front of the face, it tends to be very forward in placement, essentially. It's a forward vowel. Um, and I hear him essentially threading through other vowels. Uh, so an ah, rather than being just pure ah, sometimes there's a hint of that E, of that really forward placement. So if you are a singer and you're thinking about um, how do I improve my voice? How do I find more continuity in it? You can do this too. You look for what your favorite vowel is. Sometimes that might change depending on the range, but if you look for that vowel, you can find it and then you can sort of direct the other vowels towards it. Like they have a kinship with that favorite vowel. You hear this partly because he's just chosen an E vowel scream, right? Immediately at the beginning of the chorus, he's chosen that E vowel there. But then you also hear uh, in the verses, uh, there's a definitely a tendency, a love of that E vowel. And he has continuity throughout, though, that has a hint of it in his tone. I think that's so cool. Um, it's really, really cool to hear that clearly in a singer. I'm going to go back a little ways. I'm going to go back to the verse so you can hear it in there. We give and take. A little further. Just like you, we go from here to everywhere. So many moments that we share. Of all the love we give and take. Love came to me so many ways No matter what some haters say No one can take our dreams away And it happens uh, often, I think, because that eval pie feels amazing. Instead of singing away and having it be a more open vowel initially on the A diphthong at the end, away, he'll go to the E diphthong or the second vowel that's in the diphthong there, right? Diphthong is one sound that's made up of two vowels. So this is an e, e away, essentially. And he goes to the E uh, more quickly, leans into the E sound. Uh, I think that having that kind of defined uh, placement that just is where your voice feels good, that can be part of something that makes a person's custom sound. And Klaus is just so consistent about having amazing, clear placement. I really, I feel like this is, like he's got that spot, that pocket nailed down.
really cool uh, usage of that stereo placement there. Again, scream, scream, scream is in the uh, more forward placement and I'm a rock believer comes in on the sides more. Um, just really, really great production of vocals in this. Just like you. Uh, I really think that that solo had a lot of sass in it and overall I just feel um, a lot of adrenaline and excitement from all of the musicians and the band. You can feel it. it's it's palpable. Okay. No one can take our dreams away no one can take our dreams away Scream for me, screamer I'm a rock believer like you Just like you Come on, scream for me, screamer I'm a rock believer like you Just like you <laughs> I'm so glad that they brought back that park, uh, brought back that part. It's just so good the way that um, the long line in there that you have on the eval and then the echo. And I love thinking about how an audience is going to react to this, right? You can hear people singing along in the back, I'm a rock believer. And you can hear other people maybe in the audience singing with the longer line. I am just, I'm excited to hear how groups of people embrace this song. <laughs> I'm gonna go back a little bit again. Oh, it's so good. Oh, such a sweet moment too, right before they entered this chorus. Like you. Go back a little more. More. Can take our dreams away. I love that. Scream for me, screamer. I'm a rock believer like you. Just like you. Come on, scream for me, screamer. I'm a rock believer like you. Just like you. Just a shout out. I really like the way that he took it up there at the end. And I also really liked the fall into this next section. <laughs> This song is a hit. There's so much energy in it and it's full of passion and wonderful messaging. And I love that there are tender moments and there are powerful moments and there are so many sticky moments too, the kind that will just stick with you for days and days. So I'm so excited to hear the rest of the album. Thank you to the Scorpions and to your team. I am so honored to get to listen to this early. I appreciate it and everything that you all do. And everyone, you should go order their album. We are putting a link to it below in the about section. It comes out on February 25th of 2022. If you would like to listen to the song straight through without my interruptions, which you should do, you can get a link right here. I'll see you in another video soon.